Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video. This is going to be my finals match at the 141 Masters 1 um, weight class and division at the Fullerton Open uh, Jiu-Jitsu World League Cali Open that happened on Memorial Day weekend. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So here we're going to shake hands with the ref and we're going to shake hands with each other and then we're going to start the match. Now, the reason I'm not attacking going forward here, trying to get the takedown is because I was watching his matches earlier. We all competed on the same mat and he is a guard puller. So what I'm trying to do is when he pulls guard, what I'm trying to do is intercept that guard and try to get the two points for the takedown uh, because I'm not going to be pulling guard at all. So I'm unable to do so. He's able to get under me here and tries to lift me, but I'm able to stabilize and I'm just going to get into uh, a close guard here. He's trying to arm wrench my arm, but I'm able to free it here and grab the uh, collar. Now what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a collar grip, just trying to make sure that he doesn't set anything up. I'm able to open his guard here. He gets a, a lasso with his left leg and he's kind of giving me trouble with his right leg and then he gets the De La Hiva and he's trying to get under me here. As you can see, he's going for the Baron Bolo, but I knew that was coming because I watched his other matches and I'm able to sit my hips super far away uh, not allowing him to spin and he has to roll to his back. I'm able to get on top here and he gets me in a half guard position. But this is where I like to pass. As you can see, I'm taking my right arm and snaking under his leg, taking my left arm, grabbing the pants, and I'm setting up into my tried and true over under passing. This is a pass that I've been using since white belt, since I learned it, and it's served me so many times and it's so dominant. As you can see here, he's getting uh, he's getting tired out. I'm just grinding, 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 Bernardo Faria style here. And I have nothing to worry about because I'm immobilizing his hips. As you can see here, I'm going to step over his leg right about here, step over his leg, and then I grab and I'm able to secure the side control, get my three points for the pass, and we are at the edge of the mat, so the referee is going to recenter us. So here the ref is just going to put us back into the center of the mat. I am up 3-0 and he's going to put my hand back into uh, uh, the guy's uh, side control. And all I'm going to do here is just free my arm. And what I'm going to try to do is take this lapel and try to feed it under his arm to connect it to my other hand and just have a lot of grindy pressure on his face. He's a uh, bucking and kicking and everything but my right hip is able to neutralize his hip movement as much as possible while i try to work uh getting that uh, lapel under his head and just just have more shoulder pressure now as you can see here he's turning to his side he's trying to turn to his side but i'm putting a lot of pressure sprawling out making sure that he can't uh, turn into me and can't turn away so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grab that pant leg and what I want to do is set up a knee on belly position to get my points. As you can see here, I'm pushing that leg down, that far leg down as much as possible and I try to get my knee on belly here but he's able to beautifully actually uh, stop me from doing it and get me back into the half guard. So I wasn't able to solidify the knee on belly points and um, he was able to get me back into a half guard. So now what he's doing is trying to feed that lapel to his far hand, which he does successfully, but I'm putting a lot of pressure onto his face and I'm in a smashed half position, which is one of the positions that I really truly enjoy. As you can see, I'm grabbing the pant leg, grabbing the pant leg, and what I'm trying to do is free my free my leg. And I tried to go to the mount, but he was able to uh, rock me back and forth, and I just solidify back into smashed half right here. I'm pushing that leg, and I'm able to free my leg with a beautiful back step pass and solidify three more points for the pass into side control. So here I'm just kind of uh, keeping my pressure heavy, making sure that his hips are immobilized. And here I've tried to sneak my knee on belly and trying to get those points, but he's able to at the last second get it and stop me from getting those points. But he gives up the uh, basically like the mount mounted position. Uh, it was kind of like quarter mount and uh, he's able to trap the leg into half guard again. But this is a position that I love passing. And as you can see, I'm putting a lot of pressure, shorter pressure on his face. I'm trying to keep his head turned one way Way and his hips turn the other way. I'm grabbing that pant leg again. And I'm trying to set up my uh, pass one more time. As you can see here, I'm trying to set up. He's able to get back into a traditional half guard and I'm kind of sitting up 
I lose the head control. Uh, I'm getting kind of tired at this point. And here he's able to grab the leg. He's trying to come up. He's trying to get the leg and try to get a sweep. But here he tries to sweep me, but I'm able to switch my hips and roll and come back up. And he gets into gets me into a kind of a uh, 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 close guard position. And he's trying to elevate me. He ends up getting the triangle because as you can see here, I'm very, very tired, very, very tired. He's trying desperately to get that triangle position, uh, the refs in the way. He almost gets an umoplata, but I'm able to step over his body completely and get rid of the umoplata. And now, uh, as you can see, there's next to no time, but he's uh, trying to go for that barambola one more time. One more time, he's almost on my back, but I'm able to solidify not uh, giving up my back but i do give up the two points because he gets the sweep here and as you can see we're almost off the grass he's trying to knee cut pass in the last few seconds of the match and i able to come up and uh, we go into the grass and as you can see that is the match the time is over i'm super tired and then i actually look over at the score and i see that uh that was the last um, few seconds of the match ended up winning the match six to two with uh the two uh, uh, not sweeps, but two passes into side control. And that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, will finish the match. It was a very, very close one. And I tend to do this thing where I give up at the end in the last few seconds, and I need to sure that up. But here, as you can see, I get my arm raised, solidifying that I indeed won. Very, very happy to win my first Masters Division uh, Gi tournament uh, in California. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the match. As you can see, I ended up winning 6-2, to two, and I basically won on my ability to pass the smashed half guard or get into the smashed half guard from my over-under, uh, getting the pass from the over-under, and then also smashing uh, his half guard and then doing a beautiful backstep pass. What I wanted to do was work my passing game and I was able to do that successfully in both my matches and it just shows that the the basics of passing work at at obviously purple belt level and all types of levels and I was very very happy that the passes that I enjoy doing that I that I have the most success with success with were able to help me get the first win at Masters 1 so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Next week, we are going to be bringing a breakdown of uh, McKay Galvao's match with uh, Tywin Dalpra. I'm probably pronouncing these names wrong, but I want to start breaking down some of uh, his videos because his ability to pass the guard, uh, especially from the guard pull, this guard interception stuff that he's been doing in like the Abu Dhabi Grand Slams and uh, APJ Tours, is something that I really, really want to break down and something that I've been trying to emulate in my game. Obviously, I wasn't able to do that in this video, but I, it's something that I want to start doing and get better at because if I can intercept someone's guard pull, I'm already ahead of the game and he's able to do that. So we'll be breaking down some of his videos on who's number one and um, some other flow grappling videos that he has. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep rolling and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.